are the top 20 play before I start this I'm gonna Jordan let y'all know read the one that go And at number 20, Jordan put Patrick Ewing in a body bag. Oh. Damn, Jordan's terrifying. And if you don't watch your back, he'll hit you with game winners like number 19. Yeah, Jordan's too good. I mean, hell, at number 18, he had a shot with his eyes closed. What is I? Oh, the free, free throw. This is for you, baby. I see LeBron trying to do that, but... Man, even Jordan didn't see that coming. Le LeBron, no, LeBron can't do that. Number 17 <laughs> coming either. The time MJ LeBron can't even do that with his eye open. <laughs> the Orlando Magic. <laughs> Joking, but he can't. From Hardaway picked him. Plus one at the line, they leave him open. Oh, like oh, that. That oh, shit is baby. just. That shit ball is ball just hard, though. The way he be How doing he that. that like, pass, that shit yeah, just makes be hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Still doesn't top what he did at number 16. Because Jordan went toe to toe with the bad boy Pistons. It made him look stupid. Detroit will calm you down. They'll work their play. Steal. He kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh! His layup this package is though is crazy. He's got a lot of great shots, but I've never seen this before from him. <laughs> Damn, Prime Jordan was a menace. But so was old head Jordan. Because in number 15, he hit the greatest block of his entire career at 38 years old. He should have retired with the with the God damn. Jesus, he really snatched the game out of their hands. But that's expected from Jordan, because in his 14th best play, he should not retire with the, with the Bulls. Since he was a rookie. Bulls as Jordan has come up with that shit just hard. That shit right there is just hard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never seen nobody do that, bro. This dude but, is lethal. And he but him. That, that shit was hard. And his 13th I ain't gonna best lie, play. That shit was hard. Oh my God. Look at his tongue out over Alonzo Mourning. Yes! Damn, Jordan really gave that man a facial. That's just dirty. But at number 12, he did the Utah Jazz even dirtier. Because in the 1997 NBA Finals, Jordan ripped their hearts out. Over the foul limit. We're down to five. Jordan putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Down to one. Here's Jordan. Now he got no hug for pimping. From pimping. A game winning shot in the NBA Finals. <laughs> Jordan is just different. Which takes us to number 11. See, in 1994, Jordan quit the NBA to I join think that's when he fucked up. The MLB. And it's here. Nigga went to play he knocked baseball, it out nigga. of the park. Nah, nigga, Final you should not stay in the NBA stack up stats. Jordan. The pitch, it's and a check this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going, going, he fucked up. That moment, he Jordan fucked up. Professional home run. And he didn't yeah. realize it then. Home runs in the MLB. But he realized it now. Jordan do? Well, we're when in you the got niggas like. Now. So the plays are getting even um, crazier. Coming we for gotta you. talk about the shot that turned MJ into MJ. See, back in 1982, Jordan was playing in the NCAA championship. And with just 20 seconds left in the game, and his team down one, MJ got the ball and made history. Jordy to Black. The time, 18. That's Jordan right there? He don't look like Jordan. Shot win MJ a championship, but it also made Michael Jordan 
a household name. Can't well, believe he got cut. No one knew who I was. You know, I was a college kid, other than the, mm. you know the university. But yeah, outside the university, I was just known as Mike Jordan. You know, and when I hit that shot, my whole name became Michael Jordan. Yeah, the kid made it big. He got cut in high school. Big. Then we gotta mention number Can't nine. You cut the him. time Jordan came face to Crazy. face with a giant, seven foot two. Kimbe Mutumba. Mike, come on, man. They can't be for real. You haven't got me yet. Mike, hey, man. Hey, don't even try it. You want me to go call Scotty? You have to call Scotty. I haven't got you recently. Yeah, I agree with no, that. No, you haven't got me in the six years. One, two, three, just go ahead and say. You know what I'm No. Never. He said, I'll get you one day. Nah. 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 Don't put the bed, you. bro. They never put you on the highlight. No. Yeah. Jordan took the trash talk personally. So a few months later, during the NBA playoffs, Jordan officially got his revenge. Dunked on him in the playoff too. MJ. Oh, he did it! And Michael shakes the finger, but he finally got his dunk on Mount Matumbo. Damn. He never dunked on you. He never put you on the highlight. No. No. He said I would love to give him my poster, but it's not happening. <laughs> Just do it. Oh. He even hit him with the finger wag. And he got Matumbo good. But there's one dunk. Nike win that better. ad with that poster. Just do it. Play. That's cool. He hit the most iconic dunk of all time. Is that that logo dunk? was straight flying and with plays like these you think Jordan's game was perfect but in number seven there's one thing that everyone's criticized him for his three-point shot here's Pippen Jordan for three in the league and that makes a major difference. for three Jordan missed badly Oakley tosses it back out there but in 1992 he made them all eat their words because in game one of the NBA finals Jordan was lights out Yes, yeah, after they shoot, huh? By the end of the night, Jordan had had an NBA Finals record. Six three-point shots in a single half. Yeah, he was unstoppable. But in number six, there's one player who disagreed. See, this is Gerald Wilkins. And in 1992, he nicknamed himself the Jordan Stopper. Cleveland in the offseason. He didn't himself that. Wilkins to be the Jordan Stopper. I'm looking forward to it, no question about it. Um, I think the one thing is that. Who is this guy? To go out and put the job on Bro, the show. Bro, come on. numbers down. Yeah. Gerald Don't like And later that season. Don't embarrass exactly yourself like that, man. Because in the 1993 playoffs, this happened. Well, you just have to come. You just have to come. <laughs> MJ Stopper. Psych. Like I said, Jordan is yeah, the second the goodest Jordan player of all time. Behind the stop a damn thing. But some players are even bigger with than basketball. In the comment section. Jordan did in his fifth with best play. play. Started a dynasty. It was June of 1991. I'm not gonna Michael argue with you. Jordan child. was playing in his very Numbers first don't lie. And after losing game one, championships are team games. First ring, he needed to flip the script. So in game two, Jordan Teams went on a win rampage, dropping 33 points and hitting the craziest layup of his entire career. The look away to Levingston, Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. Jordan layup packing is crazy though. God damn. And just a couple of games later, Jordan knocked off the Lakers winning his first NBA championship, and marking the beginning of the Bulls' dynasty. That is legendary, but it's still not as legendary as number four, a shot so iconic, oh. people literally call it the shot. Hey, looks, hey, looks, hey, looks again. 
it's hard to believe Jordan could beat a play like that. But we're inside the top three now. So, from here on out, the plays are straight up going to kick things off. We gotta talk about the sickest game of Jordan's career. See, back in 1997, the Bulls were facing the Jazz in the NBA Finals. And with the series tied at two, it was do or die time. But there was one big problem. Now the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago, he is suffering from flu-like symptoms made his way onto the court just moments ago and as you see right here looking a bit shaky he was up all last night spent all day in bed did not eat at all did not uh, go to the shoot around earlier today did not practice so uh, his status is uncertain yeah jordan had the flu so it seemed like the bulls title the dreams game. were doomed but in the face of adversity jordan dug deep and balled out Jordan trying to slip it and then go back and hit. So much of the load is for the sec. Back to back horrible turnovers for Utah. And Jordan puts moves on Hornacek. Jordan to the crossover. Yes. Right. Jazz lead. And the steal by Jordan. Goes behind the back on Russell. He turned it around and finished the pivot. And Jordan see the ice bag being applied to the uh, the back of the neck of, of Michael who has been exhausted right from the start. Jordan fires for yes. and he's tied the game at 77. Ten on the shot clock. Pippen backing on the set. Here's Jordan. Mm. Three point Chicago lead with six and two ten seconds to go in the fourth quarter. That night, Jordan dropped 38 points and grabbed the dub, solidifying I'm not impressed. NBA LeBron, history um, just as dropped the 40. flu game. And just a couple of With days a later, ankle. Jordan capped it off by eliminating the Jazz and winning his fifth. They got swept though. It's like every shot this dude makes history, and that takes us to number two, the shot that made Michael Jordan a goat. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Damn, game seven too. Oof, he pushed them. Yeah, he pushed them, bro. Timeout, Utah. 5.2 seconds left. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. Stopped it. Harper's on it. Behind the screen. Harper got a piece of it. Oh! Jordan. Was that Steve Kerr? I icon. just saw you. Yeah, it's hard to follow up a play this big, but we still got number one because Jordan turned the most heartbreaking moment of his life into the greatest achievement of his career. See, in June of 1993, Michael Jordan was on top of the world. He had just beaten the Suns in the NBA Finals and won his third championship in a row. It seemed like nothing could stop Jordan, but just a month later, his entire life changed forever. Last night, we began the show with the disappearance of Michael Jordan's father. Right? The worst oh. years have come true. James Jordan was found dead, the victim of an apparent murder. Jordan was crushed. His father meant the world to him. He got him into sports, kept him disciplined, and helped him achieve his dreams of becoming an NBA champion. So without his dad, Jordan's passion for basketball vanished. And a couple of months later, he officially retired from the NBA. My success has been as much as their success. They have been a part of that. Uh, my family's been a part of that. My wife, my father, who, as everyone knows, has, uh, has left us. And uh, I guess the biggest positive thing that I can take out of uh, you know, my father not being here with me today is that he saw my last basketball. And that means a lot. Yeah, 
Jordan spent the next year and a half mourning his father, but in 1995, the time for grieving was over, because MJ knew in his heart, just like his dad once knew, that Michael Jordan belonged in the NBA. So with that, the GOAT returned. It came in a two-word statement, which is now just begging to have a Nike campaign built around it, quote unquote, I'm back. And in his first full season back, Jordan unleashed, bringing Chicago all the way back to the NBA Finals, where on June 16th, 1996, Father's Day, Jordan earned his greatest achievement yet. Damn, that's, that's, that's hard. That's cool, that's cool. Wow, Jordan did his dad proud. Now that's beautiful. 